Hello, welcome to episode 17. Um, not including the two that I'm not going to ever show. So we've got all this basic stuff, and I thought that we would do something basic to get back on the, uh, um, make things, you know, get back into the, the swing of things. And so what I thought we would do is I thought we would create a weapon uh, halos which show the arc of fire for every given ship. Uh, but we are encountering a problem where Unity causes my machine to uh, get dodgy, and I'm not sure what's going on, but it it uh, causes some serious slowdown, and I'm, it goes away the instant I close the Unity uh, scene editor here. So uh, if you see dodgy frame rates, that's because uh, apparently Unity doesn't like, maybe it's the fact that I'm running on Windows 8 or so my graphics card or something, but any way you cut it, um, uh, any any stutter you see is because of that. So I've got this texture here called fade, and what we're going to do is we're going to make all of our weapons have a, uh, a an overlay that shows that fade. But in order to do that overlay correctly, the weapons need to build a 3D mesh that represents their arc of fire. So we're going to go ahead and do that by going into uh, the weapon script here and we're going to go ahead and add in the stuff we're going to need so Make this protected there. Yeah. Uh, so these first two are objects are going to need to add to the weapon uh, to the weapons, and the latter one was one we'll create. So we go over here into prefab and we take a look at some of these weapons that we've got. We just take a look and we see that it's got a whole bunch of stuff within it, but this script here, uh, I mean this base object that we've got, doesn't actually have anything on it. So we're going to just go ahead and add the things we want to that. Uh, so we need to add a mesh renderer and we need to add a mesh filter there we go and what we'll do is we'll have the weapon actually just claim the ones that are already attached so uh, we actually do we have I need to double check here mesh filter no it's not there um, so in order to claim those we need to make sure we have a required attach for each. And then here in start we go ahead and assign them. And then we need to create the mesh. I think I just might have muted myself. So I'm hoping that didn't mute me. Um, there's some stuff going on with this where sometimes I touch the button slightly and it, it uh, turns down the volume, and I'm not sure whether that turns down the input volume. If you haven't heard what I'm doing uh, in the past five minutes, then now you know why. But I haven't done anything that's very complicated. Uh, I've just created these three variables, and now we're going to fill them in. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create the, um, the mesh that we need, which I'm sure you might remember how to do, I would hope. Now each of these is going to be made out of four vertexes, that's two triangles. Two triangles means we have six triangle entries. we have the same number of UVs as we have verts. Very simple. So the reason we want to do four vertexes, is we could actually do an arbitrary number. We could do a hundred if we'd like. Um, uh, you know, 
it might be best to actually go ahead and abstract that out so we can do an arbitrary number. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to have one point at the center of the weapon object and then we're going to have uh, the other points arrayed around at a certain distance and that distance will be based on the weapon's range but if you notice there's no range here so we're just going to go ahead and add that and we'll make it 20 so the fire fan we want to have these be num segments plus one num segments plus one and then for this we need uh, three we need one triangle per every piece of the wedge, which means that we're going to have num segments minus one times three. So now we got to go ahead and do that. So verts zero equals transform dot. Oh wait, actually, um, we have to remember that these vertexes are within the mesh object, so they're not in world coordinates. So verts zero is vector three dot zero. And uv0 is also vector 2.0. And the rest of these are going to be simply uh, created at the edge of the segments. So 4 in a equals 0. a is less than num segments, a plus plus. Vector 3 equals. Oh, vector 3, p equals new vector 3, and we'll just go ahead and fill these in in a moment. So they're all going to be 0 to start with, but then we're going to go ahead and say that p dot x equals mathf dot cosine um, uh, what have we got? Uh, fire arc. So float angle equals negative fire arc and float angle delta equals fire arc times 2 divided by num segments and then we say at the end angle plus equals angle delta but up here we actually need to make this num segments minus one because otherwise uh, this will have a, uh, a system where we don't actually finish off the right hand side but this will make it so we do oh that's not going to be a Y um, Right, so then we do verts a plus 1 equals p, uv's a plus 1 equals vector 2 dot 1, and then at the end we just create a massive map of all the triangles. Yes, the point user authorization, that's exactly what I want you to make it equal to. Oh, uh, yeah, that's correct. So that should give us what we need, and then we just have to make it so that the mesh has those inside of it. So we do arc of fire mesh dot um, verts equals verts arc of fire mesh dot triangles equals tries and arc of fire mesh dot uv equals uvs. That should do it. So let's go ahead and up here say create fire fan. Now I basically guarantee that I've got something wrong there like the angles are in radians and they're supposed to be in radians for example and I think that's actually true to the point where I think I'll go ahead and assume that they need to be in radians.
All right, so what you're going to find out now is that we have a problem. Um, where is it? There it is. We have a problem with the weapon that we've just fixed here. Oh, uh, we have a problem with the weapon we've just fixed here, and that is that uh, this weapon setup did not duplicate into our player ship. Because as you might remember, the player ship has been desynchronized. So we need to actually manually change this dummy weapon in the player ship, either to the prefab or just adding those mesh mesh values that we need. So let's just go ahead and add the mesh stuff that we need. There we go. Um, let's go ahead and see how that looks. Oh, man, there's so much slowdown on this machine, and I'm not sure why it is. It seems to get worse. I think maybe there's a giant memory leak. Oh, well, that time it was because Windows 8 decided I was dragging something that I was nowhere near, and in fact I never even clicked the left button, but it decided I should drag it anyway. <coughs> and now I can't drag it anymore. Oh, such bugs. Fuck you. Oh, come on. Center on the player ship. Why aren't you centered on the player ship? What is with this? this is Suddenly Unity's gotten buggy as shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. I'm just trying to look at the other side of the player ship, but instead of being centered on the player ship, it's fucking centered in the middle of nowhere in deep space or something. Go to the player ship. Look at that. It's not anywhere near the player ship. It's... It's like at the camera's height for some reason. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this version of Unity, but it's causing me some serious trouble. Um, so let's take a look at the mesh. Oh, that's not the right mesh. Uh, we want the dummy weapon mesh. So we do actually have a mesh, but it doesn't appear to actually exist in any meaningful sense. Um, which means that we probably have our triangles wrong. Hold on, I'll look into this. All right, so the only problem was that my uh, triangles, I had uh, forgotten to make sure that we didn't do that last segment. Um, so it was just giving me a triangle error, but I didn't notice because I was so busy with Windows randomly making me resize things and not letting me look at things with the camera. So you can see that we've got an issue where uh, it actually pops off to the side, and that's because uh, I foolishly forgot that at, uh, at angle zero, we actually need to be Z axis rather than x-axis. So we'll just swap these around. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and change this to, say, 8. There we go. So now we do have an arc of fire visible, but obviously this is as ugly as it gets. So how do we fix that? Uh, well, we just have to add a material. So let's go into materials. Let's create ourselves a new material. No. Create. Uh, it cause Unity. The editor causes my mouse to jump around. I'm, it's just Unity. As soon as it close, as soon as I close this down, it all goes back to working great, and that's really problematic for me because I do most of my game development here in Unity. So we'll call it Fire Arc. We'll add it to the dummy weapon. We need to add it to the other one as well. Which is actually more problematic because um, we need to pull it up here and then do this. There we are. There we go. Uh, and that should actually work. Hmm. Oh, did I forget to assign the material properly? Yeah, there's no, no texture. So what we need to do is we need to change this to transparent bumped. Uh, transparent diffuse, there it is. Go into textures and drag fade onto this and then hit play. Oh, and let's go ahead and make it some weapon-like color. For example, red. You can't see, but I'm des desperately struggling to make my mouse clicking register on this color palette. Oh man, this is bad. So that didn't take. Let me take a look. Alright, so it actually took fine. Um, I forgot what we were doing is we're actually viewing the ship from beneath in this scene. So if we go over to another star, 
Make sure to put a maximum amount of noise in the background for you guys, because I know you enjoy that. Uh, oh, are we still viewing it from beneath? I think we're viewing it from beneath in both of these, so we have to actually flip it upside down. That's not, not difficult. We'll just go ahead and flip it upside down by changing the order of these triangles. And that'll do it. So then when we hit play, we'll see it in both of these scenes, or not. back into the ultra, ultra buggy scene view here. Okay, so now it's upside down. Was it... Hold on. Alright, so I don't know what was going on. I literally could not get the triangles to invert. I don't know uh, what the bug was. Uh, there's something screwy going on with that. Um, but it's okay, I just reversed the angle on all of the points. And now it is facing the right direction. And we can go over to one of these stars and uh, take a look at this in action. Oh, and now it's gone. Um, let me guess. If we look at the ship from the opposite side, we'll see it just fine. Yeah, I can't look at the ship from the opposite fucking side in this view. It's broken. Alright, once again, my problem is that I'm not paying attention to the error messages because I'm being distracted by the uh, random bugs that I'm seeing. And the problem is that we don't have any normals, um, so it wasn't being lit. That's actually pretty straightforward to fix. Actually, I think we need to be up. I can't remember which way is which. Um, but we actually need to make that for number zero as well. And then we need to assign it at the end. Like so. And then we go back here into Unity and we take a look. Uh, so the way I figured that out is I changed it to, some, to something that didn't have any lighting attached to it. I'll shift it back to something that does. Hit play. All right, so you can't see it in this scene, which is correct. We don't need to see it in this view. And you can see it in this view. There we go. And now let's make sure that the actual angles are accurate. Yep. So that's it for this episode. And uh, aside from my growing irritation, um, I think that's everything I wanted to show you.